In this video, we will create the navigation lightbox slide. So this slide is sort of like instructions for your learners so they know how to interact with your course. So let's first go to the very end of the storyboard. So this is the storyboard here. If you scroll to the very end, there's a slide here at the end which describes how to create the navigation slide. So this will be the text right here that you'll insert onto the screen. And here's a screenshot of what it looks like. So the text will be here. And then these images we will just insert right next to each of these paragraphs with the information. So they'll know that there's going to be next and previous buttons. There's also a menu on the left hand side. There are these clickable buttons like this. And there's also instructional text that appears in speech bubbles. And then this lightbox slide will be linked to the player properties to appear when the navigation button is clicked. So we're going to get to that in the next video when we talk about player properties, but there will be an actual button in the top right corner that will then make this lightbox slide appear with the instructions. So let's go back to Storyline now. And I'm at the summary screen at the moment, but what we're going to do is create a new slide. So go over to the story view and just right click and go to new slide, basic layouts, and we'll pick this one with title and content. And you can see it just appears here and it's going to stay here because this is not going to be attached to any of the regular slides in the course here. It's just going to be separate from everything. So let's insert the title. We'll call it navigation. And I'll change the color and bold it. And then we'll start by inserting the text here in this text box. So go back to the storyboard. And then I'm just going to copy all of this text here. And I'm going to paste special. So go to home, paste, just the text. And I'm going to make it so it's going to be on the left hand side here. And I'm going to separate this out and I'm going to bold some of the words. So if you go back to the storyboard for a minute, There are certain words that I'd like to bold just to call attention to them, make them stand out. So next and previous, menu, clickable buttons, and instructional text. So this is now using the font that we use for this course because we pasted just the text. So now let's bold these here. Control B to bold. Menu. And I'm also going to hit enter here. And here as well. And clickable buttons. And hit enter here. And then bold instructional text. and then hit enter here as well. Okay, now let's go back to the storyboard for a minute just to look at the screenshot. Okay, so we've pretty much separated out the way we need to. We might need to adjust that a little bit once we insert the images. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to copy in these images one at a time just so I can adjust the placement and the size of each. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust the placement of these on screen. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that looks fairly good. I mean, you could tweak the placement of that more if you'd like, but we have all the elements in there that we need. So now let's go over to the player triggers here. Because this is going to be a light box slide, we don't need any next and previous buttons on this slide. So I'm just going to delete these. And then I'm going to make sure in the slide properties here that all these buttons for navigation are unchecked because this is going to be a light box slide. Now we can preview the slide. So that's just what it will look like on screen, but it's going to be a light box, so it'll look a little bit different. Okay, so that's pretty much it for creating the navigation side. So in the next video, we will configure the player properties for this storyline course and insert this navigation side as a light box. Mm -hmm.